Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News, uh, reporting live from Hawaii. We've got another story here about Ben Higgins. God bless him. I love Ben Higgins. We don't know what's going on with his podcast. Is Ben okay? So we made this story last week. Ben is bored AF. Bachelor Ben Higgins appears super bored while Marissa Gunn opens up about breakup with Riley. Oh, look, I only made this four days ago, so I actually made this while I was in Hawaii. So eh, not a big story, but what we have here is Ben and Ashley are interviewing Matt James, and Matt James is spilling his heart, opening up about the deepest, darkest moments of his life. And Ben Higgins is either looking for a lost coin or sanding his desk down. Uh, someone says, is Ben organizing his workspace while podcasting? And another, my favorite comment, the hell is Ben doing? Now, we're hoping he's okay. Um, I'm not friends with him, but if, 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 if that was a friend of mine, I'd say, hey, are you doing all right? Like, it's, it's, I don't think it's, you know, it, it could just be somebody who's got you know, some uh, sort of like inability to maintain focus or, you know, kind of like a little bit of a strong out vibe. Again, we hope he's okay. So I made that video and then I'm going to play for you guys two clips here of Matt James really opening up. Very fascinating words coming out of Matt James' mouth here regarding his time on the show and Ben Higgins can't be bothered. And again, we don't know, you know, it could be that he's dealing with some problem behind the scenes, like, oh, the podcast is having lag issues, and he's on his computer trying to figure it out. We really have no idea. Uh, But the audience is starting to catch on, and um, one person says, hey, Ben, your guests can see you. Ben might as well be on another planet, honestly. People were, like, uh, starting to get mad at him. How did you get over that hump, and how did you do it so fast? Because it was only about a month later that we saw you guys together. (laughs) Um, what you didn't see on the final rose was that, you know, we left the stage hand in hand. Uh, yeah. So this is a huge moment. This is a, this would be breaking news if I had the, uh, breaking news, uh, audio with me on my mobile setup. But Matt James says that him and Rachel left after the final rose hand in hand. And of course, again, Ben, you know, he's putting together his fantasy football team or something. I don't really know what's happening. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, then what was going on before the the, the reunion show? Um, we, we, we weren't speaking. And uh-huh. um, when you went out, when we both went out there, like anyone who's been um, in, in my seat before in yeah. that, you know, uh, environment, it's, there's not a lot of room for, uh, you have to stick to the script and there wasn't a lot that we could have discussed that would have progressed our relationship Mm -hmm. uh, on the stage. And there was, I feel like things that the show wanted and things that, um, you know, there's things that the show wanted out of that moment that, you know, we, we were done given um, control of our narrative and lives to be exploited for the most part. So I understand. Wow, we were done giving our narrative of our lives and we were done being exploited. So they decided on after the final rose to not give them much. Gosh, I mean honestly, I'm not I'm not here to pat myself on the back here, but this is exactly what I said that Matt James was going into his shell because he realized he was being commodified and he doesn't want to give the show the ratings and all of the things that they want because that's just not, that's not a genuine move. All right. So, and of course, Ben, you know, Ben is uh, busy there. Uh, Is is Ben playing Dungeons and Dragons? Maybe, maybe that's what's going on over there. Here's our second clip from the the most fascinating interview Ben Higgins has ever done. You know, selfishly, I I initially started out on the book because I was frustrated with my time on The Bachelor. I was, uh, I didn't feel like it left people with a, a great representation of what I was about, what I was interested in and, and what brought me to this point. And so that's what I set out to provide for people who had all these questions about, you know, who I was. And as I began to collect these stories and put it to paper and I started to realize that a lot of people could benefit from the things that I've been through. And uh, it, it became a, you know, a celebration story and a, and a, uh, something that a lot of people I feel like could relate to. There's a lot of themes in my life that a lot of people have been through from the family aspect, from my relationship with my dad, uh, being in a multiracial relationship, uh, 
the risks that I've taken professionally, you name it. And I think a lot of people think that they experience things by themselves. But what I realized through the bachelor experience is when you share with people and you're vulnerable about where you're at in life, what you've been through and what you're going through, a lot of people are going through similar things. You know, selfishly, I, I... All right, so that's the end of that clip. And of course, Ben uh, doing a better job paying attention here. And again, we're not we're not here trying to make fun of him or whatever. Uh, you know, it, podcasting can be hard. I know from I know for one, if I'm telling a story and I feel like someone's not listening, I just can the story. I go, "What are you doing? Do you need help with something? What's happening?" You know, if I don't feel like I have someone's attention, obviously on a podcast, it's going to be a little different there. Uh, with regards to what Matt James was actually talking about, yeah, he has every right to write a book. You know, sure they get paid. You know, he gets paid a six-figure amount for being on the show. But then after that, your biggest chance to cash in is by writing a book, doing a podcast, maybe other other ways. But he's not legally allowed to. I don't believe he's allowed to do a podcast till two years after. I know they're not allowed to have a YouTube channel um, until two years after the lead's been on the show. If you weren't a lead, it's only one year. They have different contracts. Um, but you know, I think Matt. If I had to speak, you know, from what I see from it, I think he. As soon as he was able to see how it would all play out, as soon as he was able to watch his edits and all that, he probably had a moment where he goes, their producers aren't my friends. They're not here for the right reasons. You know, we always accuse the lead of not being there for the right reasons. He realizes they're going to use my image, my likeness, who I am, my character, and they're going to mold it to fit their narrative. And we're done doing that. So as we saw with him and Rachel Kirkconnell at the After the Final Rose, that was a tough conversation. Now, if you didn't watch my reading of Matt James, of the excerpt from his new book that's coming out, it was fascinating. It was like a uh, uh, 20-minute reading that I did of what he wrote. And it was fascinating. And I truly believe that him and Rachel Kirkconnell did break up. I do. He mentions... uh, 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 tr- uh, trying to hook up with Grace or see her at least. And Grace was that girl, that lady in Florida. He mentions that Rachel Kirkconnell gave him an ultimatum, like it's either we do this or we don't. And it's a fascinating look at somebody who, as Matt James has said, has never been in love before. And of course, never you know in front of the national eye. So obviously you get bitterness when you see that you're not portrayed the way you would like to be portrayed. And there's a lot of resentment, of course, that the Bachelor producers didn't handle his love story as delicately as they could have. And he has every right to want to reclaim that messaging by writing his own book. Can't wait to read it myself. Let me know what you guys think. And shout out to Ben Higgins. It's all in good fun. I hope you're okay, man. Um, and uh, and, and uh, let, let me know if you need a hand. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to everyone in a little bit. Bye, guys.